Hi all, here's a sample template for Rugby League that I'm just going to run through here with you now and then also show you a sample dashboard that works with it as well. So both free to access from the Analysis Pro support site. So in this template for Rugby League we've got Team 1's actions down the left hand side, Team 2's actions down the right hand side. Where you see a red dot that's a descriptor, so the other ones are categories. At the top I've got first half and second half and I can right click and deactivate if it was a change of half. Okay, so every button that I press is either going to have first half or second half that goes in. So for example, the main focus is on rucks here. I'm not going to actually see what happens in the video, but whilst this set's happening, we could be saying um, at each ruck what the outcome is. As I'm going through, I could record little errors or line breaks as well. And then what I'm going to do at the end is say the final outcome of this set. So let's say here, for example, there was a try, the set was complete, we're going to make this try as well, turn off the set. Okay, we could do the same for, uh, for the opposition. And perhaps here, there's another error. And then a penalty against incomplete set, and we turn it off. So you see there's a couple of things doubled up, but we're pressing penalty. So we've got a um, descriptor inside the set, but then I'm going to make actually a penalty clip as well. Obviously, in higher versions, we could use panel flows and activations and deactivations. But this template and the dashboard that you see can actually be used from Basic Plus. So just to show you the dashboard here as well, if we open this one up, and obviously all the data that's in here at the minute is just um, made up. So once this refreshes, what we can see here is again a breakdown, kind of like our template of Team 1 and Team 2. So the left hand side we've got Team Team 1's data, on the right hand side we've got Team's Team 2's data. So the total number of sets and the complete or incomplete stats for both teams. And then we were looking at whether there was a kick, penalty or try for, for each of those sets. If there wasn't any of those three, then that's not recorded. Then we're looking at the total amount of tries and then by first half and second half, the same with errors and penalties. And this is reflected for the opposition as well. Down the bottom here, we've got cards for each. So let's say if the video is playing and there's a yellow card for team one, this updates here as well. Or let's say a red card for team two, we've got that updating over here. Now what we have in the middle is our sets. So this is the total number of rucks. So ruck one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is telling me only once have we got to, to ruck six on this team, same over here. And then we've broken it down by whether the ruck was one, neutral or loss. So there were four rucks that got to ruck one, Half of them were a win, um, a quarter of them were neutral. So if we went through here again, let's do team one set and let's just have wins for all of these. And let's go another try and that's complete. I'm going to turn on that try. Okay, my data starts updating here. And what I might do now is also put a kick in afterwards. So let's go goal kick that was complete. Okay, and then what I've got is my sets that have updated here. And we've also now got our kick outcomes down at the bottom as well. So if I went through and now deactivated first half here and put on second half, and let's do team two, have got uh, an error here and a penalty. Okay, so what we're gonna see down here um, with a little refresh here, we're gonna have two penalties, one in the first half and one is going to be in the second half as well. Okay, so it's an interactive dashboard that we can take a picture out of, but obviously the benefit with, with it being in NAC Sport and an interactive dashboard is that if I click this number, any of the numbers on these charts, they're going to show me the clips which relate to those specifically. Okay, so both of these resources, the template and the dashboard, are able to access in our support site. And hopefully that, that gives you some ideas on things you could create for your own sport. But obviously you can use this yourself and, and work away on it. Thanks for watching and enjoy using this template and dashboard if you want to.